Hello and welcome everyone to the new video how to repair exchange server database without logs. In this video I am going to show you how to repair exchange database when you are in a situation you don't have access to the log files. As an exchange server administrator you may come to a situation to get the database working without a proper log setup. A database logs may get corrupted unexpectedly due to losing access to the logs database storage or some unexpected corruption may lead to a situation to restore the database without logs. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to handle this challenge using ESEU till that is an inbox feature or inbox tool from Microsoft to repair any kind of database repair. And I will also show you how to repair your exchange database using Stellar Repair for Exchange. Now from the Exchange Server Admin Center, you can see that the mailbox database mount status is dismounted. So in this situation, users cannot access their mailbox because all the mailbox data sits inside the Exchange database. So let's open the Exchange Management Shell. So from the Microsoft Exchange Server, Exchange Management Shell. What you can do is you can navigate to the ESE Util installation directory and from there you can run ESE Util slash MH then mailbox database name and that will display you the state of the database. So the state here is dirty shutdown. You can expect clean shutdown or dirty shutdown here. A dirty shutdown means the database is not in a healthy state. So when an exchange server dismount a database, all the transaction logs in the cache are uh, committed to the database. But if the database dismount happen in an unexpected situation and the transaction logs are not completely copied to the database, then the database will show you a dirty shutdown scenario. In this case, you need the logs to be processed in order to recover the database. So we have two options with ESCU till one is to try for a soft recovery and a hard recovery so let's try that first so what you see now is the soft recovery command that is ESU util slash r then following to the log extension name once you run this you will get some results and as you know that the logs files are missing uh, this is not going to be successfully completed but it will display some errors and there are different type of errors you may get based upon the uh, situation you have and I will display you the errors. So following are the errors that you can expect if something related to the uh, log file corruption or log file missing. So now uh, we can see that we don't have an option to recover using the soft recovery as the uh, log files are missing. So what I'm going to do is I will run the hard recovery option that is the final option i have with the ESE util and let's see the result so let us run the hard recovery command that is ESE util slash p then the database name with location now you get a pop-up message and uh, that will tell you exactly the transaction logs that are not going to be applied during the repair process to the database so as the transaction logs are partially committed, we get the dirty shutdown error. But in the hard repair, it is independent upon the transaction logs. So you have a chance to succeed in this step to repair your database. Now it completed successfully, but in the notes you can see that you are requested to perform an immediate full backup. But in my recommendation is to move important steps to a new database. So your repair completed but your job not doesn't completed you need to do something else to uh, secure your data now you can again run the ESE util command and you can see that the uh, state of the database whether it is a clean or a dirty shutdown so if you successfully recovered then it means you get a clean shutdown otherwise it remain as a dirty shutdown in clean shutdown you can easily mount the database the second option we have is stellar repair for exchange you can see there is a free download option which will help you to see the preview of your recoverable items in your mailbox database. So I'm just going to download it and try it. Once you complete the download, simply double click on the setup file that you downloaded and complete the installation. The installation is a straightaway method. There is nothing confusing in between. 
Once you complete the installation, you can easily launch Stellar Repair for Exchange from the desktop. I'm going to skip this wizard now. I will point out the EDB file later. From the help, you can see there is an option about which will help you to know which version you are using. So I'm using the latest one as if now 10.0 is the latest one. Then nearest to the help, you can see there is an activation option where you can activate the license. So now let us open our EDB file which we want to recover. For that, locate your EDB file. Then click on the next button. Now you have two options. You can go for a quick scan and an extensive scan. Extensive scan give you better result, but quick scan give you the result faster than extensive scan. And now you can see all the mailboxes in this database. So if you click on the accounts, for example, I'm going to select John, then John's calendar. You can see the calendar items. So it gives you a similar look and feel of your outlook. So this will be easy for you to export even as a single item to a message or a PDF. If you go to the contacts and select your user account, you can see that the contacts are displayed. All the items that comes in a mailbox and that is stored in the database is going to be displayed here as you see in an outlook. Now you can see the inbox of user accounts. And if you want to export a single content, a single email from this inbox, you can simply right click and save as a message that will help you to save in the same format as an email. Then you can open it inside the Outlook. You can see that now we exported the single item. If I double click on it as I have installed Outlook, I can simply open it and read it as you read in an Outlook. So this is the beauty of recovery. You have a granular recovery option with this software and you have other choices also like save as PDF and EML, etc. Now we are going to export this as a PST. For that you right click and save as a PST. Now point out the location. Now you can apply some filter like a, a date range. You can exclude junk items and deleted emails. You can also specify an email address and you can specify to exclude all the mail items from a particular email address. Now the PXT export has completed. And if you click on the open contain folder, that will show you the PST file. And you can see the size of the PST file is around 6 GB. So we exported 6 GB of file from the mailbox database. The other choice you have is to export this to a live exchange server or to Office 365. So if you are using Exchange Server higher than 2010, then enter your email address, server name and user password. Then you can complete the export to the Exchange Server. The final option we have here is export to Office 365. So you can simply export your mail items from an EDB file to an Office 365 account. So this will help you when you are doing a cloud only migration from an exchange server to office 365 instead of setting up the all the hybrid configurations or synchronizations it is quite easy you just catch up the edb file and simply enter the user account and uh, he will get all the details including all the emails calendars and other details so let us summarize what we have learned in this video we saw how to recover an exchange server database without logs using the ese util command and also I demonstrate to you how to use Stellar Repair for Exchange if you have a situation to recover your database. And Stellar Repair gives you a lot of options. You can save as a PST, you can save as a message, or you can save the individual items as a PDF. You can export to the Exchange server. You can export also to the Office 365. So this is a good tool if you want to uh, migrate your data directly to Office 365 even without using as a PST import export options. Then also you can export to a public folder also. So that is all. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe my YouTube channel.